Hello and welcome back to a new video about safety. This time with making the first step into safety. Up to now we talked about how to display processes, how to show processes, how to document processes. Now we're taking our first step into safety. And here in Europe, a quite a big bunch of safety is regulated by the European Union. This was a huge step. This was a huge step. Somewhere in the history, somebody came to the idea and said, hey, if somebody's leaving the door, leaving its home to work somewhere, it would be nice if, it, if the chances are good that he or she will come back at home healthy yeah, and not almost dying yeah, after 30 years in waste disposal management somewhere poison or no huh? there are now some safety rules huh? there are rules anyway yeah so i just want to show you how this is working inside the european union yeah? that we can all agree all partners in the european union can agree to yeah how this is working well there is the Article 95 of the European Union Treaty. So, Article 95 EU Treaty. Based on this Article 95, yeah, the European Union, make it blue, of course, European Union, EU government. Based on this Article 95, uh, the Council uh, is issuing so-called guidelines, directives, EU directives. Okay. This is the EU, EU directive to describe something something special. Yeah? There are different types of EU directives. For instance, there is a directive for machines, yeah? machines and safety. There's a directive for low voltage. There's a directive of, of electromagnetic disturbances. Yeah? There are a lot of European Union directives. These are issued by the EU government. Yeah? These are usually, uh, well, yeah, they are mentioned in a way that they're very common yeah very common in a com very common way we will afterwards look inside one of those directives yeah in the in the follow-up videos uh, whatever is written in here is precised by standards so there are also EU standards yeah. those two things in combination should give a pretty clear picture what this directive should is doing okay so the EU government is issuing this this is issued by the EU government and this here is somehow uh, influenced okay. the standard will then be done by the standardization organizations uh, itself. Uh, or of course, there's a close match, because uh, otherwise it would not be very useful. Okay? So now this is what the EU is doing. So the EU is issuing some directives where it's written you should do this and you're not allowed to do that. And if you have to do that, then you must do that and blah, 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 blah. Uh, and the EU standards then describing exactly precising those things. Yeah? For, for instance, the EU standard of how fast a standard person can grab, or how long a standard finger is, or how thick a standard finger is, or the head, you know, some things. Yeah? Yeah? They are precise in the directives. What influence has this? Now somebody in Brussels says, hey, this would be a good directive, issue. Does it directly influence me? Me? 
now here in Austria sitting, planning some? No, does not. If the EU directives are issued, there is no impact on us. Because in the, all the partners, there the local law is what is applicable. Okay? So for every EU directive at the local government, it's a light blue, yeah. local government, there is a local law referring to this EU directive. Yeah? And after the local government has issued the local law, then this EU directive is thing which is applicable to me, yeah? if I'm living in this country. If this local law is not there, just the EU directive, no influence. However, local law referring to the EU directive, influence. Okay? So for every EU directive, if in place in this particular country there is a local law okay? and there are also local standards which are referring to the EU standard. Yeah? So those things are somehow mirroring. Yeah? So there is a mirror each other. These things are reflecting these things. Now, why is that? Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. Because simply, I'm producing something and I want to sell it in, I don't know, Portugal. I want to sell it in Spain. I want to sell it in, in Finland. Yeah. Everywhere local laws and so on. However, if all the local laws are pointing to one EU directive, it's fine. Okay? So, after the local law is issued, the EU directive has gained law. It's law. Yeah? I have to follow. <laughs> standards are standards. I do not have to follow. Okay? There's a great difference. Standards, if I follow standards or not, is up to me. However, there is, there is uh, the standard journal of EU government. Yeah. There's the standard journal, which color? I always have to choose the color. Standard. Journal. Yeah. This standard journal yeah, is sometimes mentioning EU standards. Yeah pointing to them. If the standard journal is mentioning a EU standard yeah, to be applicable for a directive, then this standard is so-called harmonized. Yeah? And if a standard is harmonized and I follow this standard, I am safe. Okay? I do not have to, to prove that my version is also okay. Yeah? If I'm following this standardized, harmonized standard yeah, during my manufacturing process, yeah, nobody can say you've done something wrong. Okay? Maybe there was something wrong, but then it's wrong in the standard and it's not my fault. Okay? That's the reason why you should follow standards, especially the ones which are harmonized. Okay? So there are harmonized standards. Yeah? If you follow them, they also then you if you follow a harmonized standard, yeah, it is implied for you, yeah, it is your Vermutung. Yeah, Vermutungswirkung. This, this standard has the Vermutungswirkung. Ah, what could be the English term? Uh, you don't have to guess. Yeah? For you, you can trust that this standard complies with the directive. If you follow the standard, you 
fulfill the directive. Okay? Vermutungswirkung. I will put a label what this is in English. Yeah? You can trust in this simply. Okay? So, this is how the EU Treaty Article 95 works, how the rules and things are issued inside the European Union. Yeah? Uh, next time we're talking about what is following of this. Yeah? We're talking about CE certification. Okay? Because this is a direct follow of this. Yeah? Now, this was really political, let's say. <laughs> Next video we are talking about uh, CE certification. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.